Hey guys, so so I'm just about ready to cut the grass out here in the backyard. I just did the front yard. And so I thought I'd do a couple more old start cold starts. Uh, do uh, some cold starts on three of the equipments that I don't use that much. This is one of them right here that you do see, which is the, the MCD Yard Machines Chipper Shredder. The Echo HC150 Hedge Trimmer and the Echo CS400 Chainsaw. And so, without further ado, we'll uh, get started. So the first one I'm going to start out with is, uh, how about the Hedge Trimmer? So let me get my tripod. Oh, there's a hummingbird. Okay, so the hedge trimmer hasn't been uh, was last used uh, just o almost a month ago when I did that that hedge trimming video on cutting our privet hedges over way over there, which looks like they're going to be needing to be cut again. So I think that was the last time it been since I last use the hedge trimmer. So let's see how it starts. Okay, switch is on. It's on choke. We'll give it about five primes. Okay, so let me get the camera on the tripod. Let me get that blade cover off. I still need to get a blade cover for my chainsaw. Let's see how it starts. Oh, not too bad. Oh yeah, runs really good. So it's got a 20 inch blade on it and a 21.2 cc engine. All right, so now for the chipper shredder. Now this thing, uh, it's been about, mm, man, I would say almost, almost two months or so. That could, that's my guess. The last time I used this thing. So, let's see. Uh, we got some gas in there. There's not too much in there. So, let me turn the fuel valve on. Just let it sit for about a minute, just to allow the gas to get into the carburetor. Okay, so we'll give it about half throttle choke. Actually, I'm going to put you on the tripod. Just in case if this thing doesn't want to start. But we'll see. Alright. Alright, I'm just going to give it a pull and let's see what she does. Well, how about that? Not too bad.
not too bad. The thing about it with these machines is just don't stick your fingers down in there because it's got some blades in there. They can chop your chop your fingers right off. Especially down in there too. In fact, I do got some stuff I need to shred, but I'm not going to do any shredding today. I'll probably do some shredding on Wednesday because tomorrow I got a dentist appointment and also it's supposed to rain too. Alright, and finally, finally the chainsaw. Alright, so this thing was just running on Friday. I've only used this thing only once though. I've been running it quite often just to break in the motor. So, uh, where can I set this thing at? Let me just try right here. Alright, I think that should work. Alright, brake on, switch on, choke, give it five primes. Alright. Alright, she fired, take it off choke. Starts up a lot easier than my grandfather's Poulon wood shark chainsaw, that's for sure. And this particular saw, it's got the uh, the i30 recoil starter, same uh, recoil starter that's on my SRM 225. This one is just a little bit harder pulling, just because that this thing here, it's got a, a bigger engine, because this has a 40.2 cc engine, whereas my SRM 225 only has a 21.2 cc engine. So I don't think I can start this thing with one hand. I could try to. Oh, well, maybe so. Let's give a couple more reps. Alright, cool. So, I uh, hope y'all enjoyed uh, this video. So, thanks for watching.